Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I'm going to be doing another decoration in my Whistle and Birch this week. There is a different layout for June, so I'm going to give it a shot. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so we have a whole new kind of spread in my Whistle and Birch, and I have absolutely no idea how to do this. Um, so I'm going to go in easy for myself, and I'm going to use a, a bunch of leftovers, the same way I've been doing, uh, like I did Yesterday with my weekly decoration, I used a mink theme or a teal theme. I'm gonna use black and white. Black and white's a really safe place. It's really, really easy to just get anything black and white out of your stash and just go nuts. So I have a bunch of stickers. Some are boxes, some are not boxes, some are decorative, some are a bit of everything. I've got some paper. This is a very old Flow Paper Lovers book, uh, but there is a whole bunch of black and white kind of pattern paper in here in the back. I thought that might work. Uh, and then of course I have black and white washing because you can't go wrong with black and white washing. All right, I think these are the hard parts because I, I, I get why these are here, but at the same time, I feel like keeping the headers, you kind of lose, you kind of lose the ability to decorate a little bit. So what I might do is I'll put in a bit of paper on the top but then I can always put the, the important or the next week back. So I think we'll go... I really like those mermaids. I know they're not mermaids, they're scales, but... I like the scales. I just don't know. I'm just going to pull this out because I don't know if you can actually... how thick the paper is and if you'll be able to see. Oh no, you won't. work. If you do that across both pages, eh, we'll give it a shot anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to measure how, there it is, uh, how tall this space is. So it's 3.4-ish. So what I'm going to do is cut this to 3.2. How, oh, where do I want it to sit? There's the question. Where do I want it to sit? I kind of want it to sit right on the edge, so I'm going to cut it to that, get the exact measurement. 3.3. So I'm going to cut these, cut two strips of this to 3.3. Wouldn't surprise me if I'm a little bit off. I also just want to cut this really, actually this one instead. If I cut it 3.3 on this side, then that's going to get me the shape I want. I don't like that little bit at the bottom. To, and this is again the coolness of black and white you could color these all in like if you wanted to have a a week where you just sort of color some of the black and white bits that's actually just a little bit too big anyway, how did i do that that one's fine this one's a little too big so i'm just gonna and this this sometimes works it sometimes doesn't i might have to go back and cut another another bit but we'll see i'm just gonna cut the sliver off. That might have been too much, but it'll do. Oh wait, make it work. And I'm just gonna stick these down, just using glue tape. Uh, and I'm just gonna go up to the edge. I'm also just gonna cut before I stick this down. Uh, I'm just gonna trim off a sliver on this side, just so I get rid of the perforations. You guys know how much I hate those. So let's go ahead and stick these down and I'll be right back. All right, so what I decided to do was put that down on the line there and then I can come in on the top and add a little bit of washi so you can't tell that they're actually different sizes. So this is a super skinny washi tape that I got from Shimagi Designs a really long time ago. But I think if I put that just along the top, which is actually going to be really difficult because this page is obviously in the book. Hold 
that still. I'm actually going to go across the coil because there's a little bit of room there at the top. I'm going to just put that down. This feels really weird. I don't know why. Keeping it straight is really difficult because it is so skinny and the page is moving around. All right. I think that's okay. Yeah, she missed the whole time. All right. So using this is not the easiest thing. Um, but I'm not giving up on it just yet because I really like the way that looked. Whoops. Whoops. So. Maybe I just need something heavy. I'm just grabbing my acrylic block in. And I'm thinking that'll just hold the page down so it won't wibble, wibble, wiggle as much while I'm trying to stick this down. Okay, there's still a little bit on the top, but I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So I'm just going to cut off all of the excess. There is going to be a little bit. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side super fast. a little bit it looks straight like that, that's the big thing as long as it looks straight all right now I'm really tempted to put another line on the bottom I'll come back to it the other thing I know I want to do is I want to put these stickers I just want to have a really simple kind of because I just want to use the boxes that are already here and I don't really want to cover them up Pro like big cover them up so what I thought I'd oh, I'm gonna break the M that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to grab one of these M's out of the, this is the Kiki K alphabet stickers. And because they fit basically right across there, I'm going to put the M there. And then I think, I think I want to use a slightly bigger number. Now these are a clear background. These are from Honeysuckle Planning. So I can put them straight there and it'll just look like M1. And then I'll do the two etc etc and the numbers fit really nicely in with the size of these so the only problem is going to be of course Saturday and Sunday but I think I think I'm bright enough to know which day is which so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these down with the numbers so I'll just show you Tuesday again before I start going fast and while I'm thinking about that sometimes plastic ones are just a little bit there it is harder to get off but it's just that's just what they do I like that. I like the horizontal, not horizontal, vertical kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish doing all of these. I'm hoping they all fit. The only one I'm worried about is the W because that's a little bit wider. But if it doesn't quite fit, it won't be far off of it. There we go. It's just on the lines. Now I'm not covering up any of what's behind it. I'm just leaving them as they are. Can't tell unless you're looking really close. And I think by the end of it, it'll end up looking Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and finish all of these off and I'll be right back. Oh, how cool does that look? I'm, so, I, I'm actually really happy with that. I am going to do the line across the bottom. I just want to, I want to put something down here first. So I'm just, again, having a look through my stash. I'm going to do spotties. Ooh, now this one will be a little bit different because I can't go to the coil. So I've got to stop sort of just before it. Put that down right at the coil. I'll just trim it off afterwards. Okay. I like those spots. It's very busy. I think that's the fun of black and white that you can make it really, really busy. You can, you can add in a bunch of patterns and a bunch of bits and pieces and it still looks good because the black and the white just pulls everything together. And for the bit on the coils, I find a washi cutter is so much easier than scissors because you just hold it up against it and pull. If you don't have a washi cutter, a credit card works really well too, or just a card of some kind, like a library card or something. All does the same job, but that's just a lot prettier. 
That's from Fox and Cactus. Love it. Um, okay, I am going to put that line in because just looking at it, it just needs a little. Uh, I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. We'll wait till we get to the end and see how I like it then. All right, so now we get the fun of working out what the heck we're going to put over the rest of this space. To me, and I'm going with what I would do if I was using this as my planner, I'd kind of have a couple of bits, different bits. So you've obviously got the days of the week down here. You've got this bit here and you've got this bit here. This really small bit, um, I'm going to use for what hours I worked. Now I am back at work on a limited capacity, not limited capacity, I'm back four days. Um, but it's very, not. I want to keep track of how many hours I'm working because obviously I've only got you only have the four days worth. So I want to have that down the side here. I had to go and find it, but it just so happens that I do have a work scripty word here. These are Beehaven stickers. So I'm going to stick them on the second line of each day. I'm going to do Saturday and Sunday as well because my work can sometimes move into Saturdays and Sundays. So I'm going to stick all of these down just on the second line and that way I can keep track of how many hours I work each day just by filling that out. And whether or not I do it nine till five or six hours or whatever it happens to be, at least I've got a, a record for myself more than anything else. That box is going to work really well for this actually. And if you guys want to see me try, like, try and use this, because I know sometimes, especially with the hobos, I don't tend to use them. I tend to just keep them there as just a decoration. But I did have a go at using this for that no white space week and I actually really enjoyed it. So I wouldn't mind having a go at work using this one as well. Okay, so then I also have to put some, we need to do some decorating. Down this, this side I need to put my normal kind of bits and pieces, not bits and pieces, like happy mail and things like that. I do have some boxes because I do want to do a little bit of decorating. I can't have this just like that, that's just too much for me. I'm gonna put this one just up the top here and I'm just gonna put the June month sticker on the top. This is another honeysuckle one. I'll just put that up the top, whoops. So obviously I'm not gonna put in the, the next month that was there, but I'll find a way to put, not next month, next week, but I'll find a way to put that back in here. All right. So I need Happy Mail, I have some decoratives, I have some icons, I do have some headers and then I've, I've got a bunch of decorative ones because I do have a lot of black and white that I can play with. So there's that next week one. So I'm going to put the next week header, I'm going to put that in down here, actually before I do, they get out any tick boxes. I'm going to grab this one here. These are one of the Oscar and Lou ones. These came out of the Harper and Friends kit. I remember this one. So I'm going to have two of these. I think two will fit. We might get the undo out in a second, but I just want to show you that you can, any kind of sticker that you have, whatever you have in your collection, you can make things work for different, oh, that's going to be perfect, um, for different kinds of spreads. You don't have to stick to the same kind. So if you always buy vertical weeks or vertical kits, this is this is technically a horizontal. I'd, I'd go with this as technically a horizontal kit. Sorry, I need to concentrate on putting this down, so hold on. Um, I technically call this a horizontal kit, but it's, it's just showing you that you can use any kind of kit in any kind of planner. You don't have to stick to what it's designed for. Uh, so I do want to put, I want to put something to break this up. So I'm grabbing, grabbing this one. This is an Ikea washi tape. How cool is it that Ikea has washi tape? Uh, I'm just going to stick that across there. And I'll cut off the excess with the washi trimmer. Washi cutter, sorry, first stop. Um, and then I didn't end up actually leaving enough room, so I'll try again. My hint with the when you're going up against the coil is leave more room than you think you need because then you can grab hold of it and trim it. 
whereas if you get a little bit too close and there's not enough room to grab it, it won't work. I hope that makes sense. And the cool thing about washi is it's always easy to pull up. It does sometimes tear a little bit, but most of the time it's okay. I just wanted to have some extra something at the back there. And then I'm going to put this little icon that's kind of like a thinking. So it's like this is my things I need to do ne with next week and this is maybe my ideas for next week. Again, just going with different bits. Um, I'm going to break this up a little bit more by having some, I'm going to put these boxes in, or one of these boxes for my Happy Mail. I like this space. I like this space better. I'm actually going to leave that completely the way it is, because I do love the idea of having um, like a, a doodle space. I think that's a really cool kind of way to do it, but I'm going to use that washi again because I really like it. And I'm not going to put that strip on. I've decided now. Just flip this. Coils do make things a little bit difficult sometimes. You've got to move things around a little bit, which perhaps you wouldn't do in a in a planner page. Although if you see me use my planner pages, I tend to rotate them all the time, don't I? Alright, so this is what I was talking about. I just didn't quite leave enough there. I can still grab it, but any shorter, then I would not be able to grab this. So just, yeah, leave a bit of extra room. In this case, I did leave some room. I just left on the wrong side. Okay. I only have a little bit of happy mail coming. So I don't need two boxes here. I only need one. So I'm gonna put that one and then I'm gonna put my Oscar and Lou little mail sticker. And then I'll put something decorative here. This is the one that I'm thinking, what do I do? I need I need to put a, a to-do of some kind. have any other headers that say to do. Oh, that's what I was looking for before. I was looking for those before and I couldn't find them. Alright, so I'm going to put in one of these stickers. These ones are from Lady B Creations. I have a lot of stickers that I can't quite remember how I, how I got hold of them, but I'm always very glad I did. So I'm just using that to cover up that spot. I'm actually going to pull these letters back in because to do is such a small word, a combination of words. I want to make some. I, I like the bold. I, I do like playing with things that are a bit bold. So I'm just going to put it down, see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I'll won't do it. I've got plenty of to do headers. obviously got plenty of room now to write in all my to-dos it doesn't have to be all this week and I can obviously move things around um, but I like that arrow and I'm definitely going to use some more of those that's the mail even though you can't really tell that it's the mail um, and I'm gonna put gonna put this little cutie these are from plan to create I think yeah this this sticker is a little bit smaller a little bit bigger sorry than the box it's gonna sit next to and I've got a trick Kind of make it look like they are the same size. Won't look exactly like they're the same size, but I love these lines, making really, making it really easy to get those down. So I'm just going to put a little bit more of this washi. Actually, we'll use a different washi. Let's try something else. We'll use this one. This one's a bit bold. This is actually from Aldi. You can come up with some funny places to find washi if you've been doing this long enough. Cross that line. 
trim off the excess with the washi cutter. Which is now officially hidden under my big pile of stuff. Now completely up to you whether you want to pull it up off the sticker or have it smaller than the sticker. I think it looks fine. So I'm going to leave it just like that. There you go, I've, I've filled up that small amount of space that was still left there. I love that dog, he's really cute. Um, okay, I'm gonna chuck a couple of these little, these are Sophie's icons from Lime and Mortar. And I really think they're gorgeous, but I love the fact that they're black and white, so I can, I can play with these a little bit. So I'm gonna put this little one here with the writing. I'm gonna put this in here. And I wanna leave it blank, but it's my doodle space. So I'm just gonna put a border around it, just so that it, it looks like a doodle space. Uh, I'm just gonna use my uh, fine liner pen and a ruler, which I did have my ruler, where did it go? There. Uh, nothing particularly special here, but it'll just make, it'll define this space a little bit more. Just thought of it just looking at this there's a little one here that looks like a card oh sorry not sort of it looks like a present it is a present it doesn't look like a present I'm just gonna put this here I want to use those little stars that I had under a presents banner but it's not actually going to be for presents it's going to be cards to make because I still have a few side of my page actually looks really cool now. I'm going to use one of this, I'm going to add some deco and then we're going to come back on the other side because I've now I've been annoyed, been neglecting this side enough. A little flamingo. I'm just playing with colours now. I'm not paying any attention to what it looks like but I am trying to avoid anything with too much colour. That small amount of pink I think is just enough. There are some little handy unicorns here that are going to get a bit of a run as well but a very 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 small amount of pink so it's not so bad. All right so let's move over to the other side. Oh, I really like that. Um, I want to add, I want to put some of these these uh, boxes and bits and pieces in. So this one these are a really old Carpe Diem one and they're going to be too big so I'm going to trim them to make them fit. I've got that with a couple, There's, I've got a couple of box stickers that'll kind of do the same thing. So I'm going to start off on Saturday. I'm sticking that down, grab the ruler and actually grabbing a craft knife. But all I'm going to do here is just not push all the way through. So I'm just trying to push through the paper, or the sticker paper, sorry. easy as that. And we do the same thing with a couple of different boxes around here. So I've got these ones here. These are from Plan to Create. I'm going to try and use all of these. And these actually might work for, um, I can probably use a half and half. So if I stick it in the right spot, now I'm kind of going to do a bit of a, not origami, that's not the right word. Um, mosaic, is that the right word? That you kind of tessellate the tiles a little bit. Think of it like that. I'm putting that in the right spot. This is a much thinner paper, so this won't need to, I don't think. It may be a little small. I didn't push as hard that time. And maybe I'll use that. I'll, I'll come up with another way. To do it. So I'm going to just continue this going up the page. I'm, I'm a little worried because that one looks smaller. 
then if I do a couple more different widths along the way, we actually might get somewhere. So this one's a lime and water one. It's actually from a Christmas kit. I'm gonna put this one. And this one is just a teensy, teensy, teensy little bit too small. I don't care. I'm gonna use it anyway. Just have it sitting there like that. And again, I'm hoping as you go up the page, the, the fact that some of them is a different widths and stuff, it'll all come together. Again, I'm kind of leaning on the black and white thing to kind of help me tie this all. So anyway, we can keep going, see what it comes out as, and we'll see how we go. I just went and grabbed another little one, just to kind of break this in a little bit so it's not quite there was only one of these small ones so I just wanted to make there be another one so this is again from one of those I think they're Carpe Diem but I'm leaving a funny gap on purpose so that it kind of joins in with this one at the bottom but I actually think this has worked out really nicely I didn't I was I was skeptical sometimes I am skeptical of my own stuff this one I was skeptical but I think it's actually worked Hurt that sticker. I'm just going to go in with a bit of undo for that. I hate that. So I'll fix that up. And then to kind of fill in the gaps, because they definitely are still funny looking gaps, we've got these words. I think these are from Lady Bee Creations as well, but if it's not, please let me know. Um, and I'm just going to add in a couple of these around the place. To kind of even some of the balance, balance some of these out a little bit because they are definitely a little bit off kilter. That top one's actually not off kilter, so I'm going to move this down. I'm going to put a little penguin in here. These are from Label with Love. I love these ones. And this is where you kind of can have some fun. This is where you pull in some of the deco stuff. So we've got, I've got the penguins. I've got some notes and some squibbles got some of these kind of more wordy ones. These ones are from Love, Live, Love and Craft. I'm going to put Weekend just on top of here. Oh, that looks really cool. I was going to have it off centre, but I don't like it. So I'm going to move that into the centre. I know it's on Saturday, but Weekend is there. Um, I've got the arrows as well. I've got some bows and banners. Lots of different things to kind of pull all of this together. One of these ones. And you can either put them on top of what's here and kind of build the stickers up, or you can obviously stick them somewhere else. really want to use a couple of these really cute ones. These are another other ones that are hand drawn by Sophie that I just think are so cool. come together the way I thought it would. The black has really pulled, the black and white pulls everything together. I do still have a bunch of half stickers left over so I'm actually going to put them in my um, leftover sticker book. I try not to waste too many stickers unless I have to. But actually I really like that. I think it's come together really nicely. It's got plenty of room for me to write things down. If I need to add appointments or anything like that they can fit in there without too much of a problem. And I, I like the scatteredness of it. It, it is a little scattered, it's a little different but I, I think I really like it. So let me know what you think. You can leave it down below or find me on any of my socials. I have been doing different decorations in the Whistle & Birch for the whole of the year. Uh, I've done different layouts that I would normally do and I'm gonna continue to do these now that we move into some of these other ones. So if you want to keep seeing those, please let me know that you are enjoying them. Again, leave that down below. 
Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and be subscribed to my channel for any future videos. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic week and I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.